Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Jaw Games Factorio Space Age. And in today's episode, well, we should be able to get some fusion going. So look out for that, we'll have a blueprint in the description and we'll look at how to build a fusion reactor. And then we'll see if we get there, but I'd like to tap this lithium brine with a train system. So, well, let's start with the fusion reactor, let's get into it. Alright, so I pasted down the blueprint that I designed here, and well, what's going on here? Everything is about the neighbor bonus, so these ones need to be connected by the plasma to get the neighbor bonus. And so with this configuration, each one of these is getting a two neighbor bonus. And then the fluoroketone, uh, they consume fluoroketone, and they also consume whoop, let's move myself over there they also generate plasma so as far as i understand it and i could be wrong if i'm wrong please let me know in the comments but um the base output is four plasma per second and then based on these four all touching two neighbors uh wait that didn't sound very anyways um so they're all producing 12 plasma per second each and so these here can consume two plasma each. So 12, 24, 36, 48 plasma is the total that we are able to produce. So with 48 plasma and each of these being able to consume two plasma per second, that's why we have 12 and 12. And then it's just a matter of being able to input the plasma here and then you can only get it out on the sides or the front but you also need to leave space for the hot fluid to come out and so that's what i've done here it's a little bit extravagant but it turned out to be a pretty nice design actually and it be, could be a little bit more compact if we weren't on Aquila where we need to heat up the pipes. But uh, yeah, because that's one thing you, you might think. I also thought that, you know, hot fluid going through the pipes would be enough to unthaw them. But unfortunately, no. Um, that would be really cool. I think it probably should be like that. But I don't know. I mean, it's a game. So it, it, it can have its little quirks that maybe make it a little bit more interesting and fun. So anyways, I've connected up the entire system here so that each one of these is able to output its hot fluid. And then the hot fluid comes back around here. And it is a one-to-one -one ratio, so it's actually not consuming any of the fluid. It's just making it hot. So then I have two plants here that can each process 24, at least 24 hot fluid into 24 cold fluid each. And so, of course, each of these 12 on each side producing two fluid per second, because it's not just the consuming two plasma per second, it's also generating two hot fluid per second. And then similarly, these plants are not just generating four plasma per second, they're actually consuming four cold per second, um, which is interesting, yeah, because I guess... How does it work? Yeah, because the plasma turns back into the fluid, I guess, is kind of the thing, right? Like, these consume the fluid, the cold fluid, and generate plasma. And then when you consume the plasma, it turns it back into the hot fluoroketone fluid. So that's where you take the hot fluoroketone and you put it back into the reactors as cold and then you are all fine and dandy. So I've put my trusty nuclear reactor here to just help, you know, as always, inject some heat into the pipes. I can take that out after, but that being said, I'm gonna quickly whip up a fusion fuel cell and then we will, well, also get barreling of the fluid because yeah, so we'll, we'll get this thing going right away here, all right. Alrighty then, so yeah, you'll you'll find a blueprint for this in the description as well for the f the fluid, the fuel, the fusion fuel power cell. It's a pretty simple construction there, uh, but yeah, now we've got fuel in all four of our reactors, and we're just waiting for the cold fluid. And one thing I was kind of curious about is how much it actually takes 
So I'm gonna inject what should be a thousand, right? Or is it 50 per barrel? Actually, it is 50 per barrel, isn't it? Right, so 50 per barrel. Looks like I'm running out of barrels. So I'm running out of steel. So that's fine, I think this will be enough to get started, but at least let's see if 500 is enough to fill the system. I actually don't think 500 will be enough to fill the system. So yeah, let's find out together. So plop that in there. Now we're pumping it out. Yeah, and the barrels are will be reused, so that's kind of nifty. Awesome, look at that fusion generator, boom. So again, I've got no request in here at all. So I'm just kind of trying to see if this is going to be sufficient. This isn't going to fill the system, I guess. Maybe it's 10% full. Uh, and then every time this gets up to 10, it's going to convert it into the cold stuff. Now, of course, it's doing it fairly slow because we're not using very much power. And it seems to me that that's one of the benefits of a fusion power plant here too, is that it automatically scales to the power consumption. So you won't ever consume more fuel than you actually are consuming unlike an, a fission power plant where the fuel is just always going down even if you max out the temperature and you're not actually using any more then it, it it doesn't matter it just keeps going i think i got rid of it. anyways so yeah that's that's kind of an interesting thing about the fusion power plant it's automatically scaling up and down but let's see if we can get some more fluid in there and see how much we need. By the looks of it, it might need 5,000. See if I can put another 500 and we'll just kind of test it and see. So maybe this isn't quite correct in that. Yeah, so maybe it's only about a thousand. Yep, I'd say that's that's pretty good. It's about a thousand of the fuel. So we did 10 stacks. We did 20 stacks at 10 each. Just to make sure I'm good on the math here. 20 stacks at 10 each times 50. Oh, 10,000. My bad. Okay, so that was probably 10,000 of the fluid seems like a lot to inject into the system but i'm content with that nice thing about this setup is that the fluid connects here to these side ones and then these up and down ones are connected so it's all just one system and even the hot fluid is connected both sides, which doesn't really need to be connected through here. Like we could delete those, but anyways, neither here nor there. I think I'm going to put just a little bit more. So just to fill it right up to the brim. Yeah, I want that to be like full full. There we go. So yeah, it does hold like a thousand in here. And that's good. That's good. So it's going to be, I'd say about, I'd say 11,000. So you want to have like for each setup of this, you want to unbarrel um, 22 stacks, roughly 22 stacks of fluid just to make sure it's super full and that all of these are going to have absolutely no problems with that. I don't know if it even needs to be totally full. It probably just could be half full because again, it's just cycling exactly the same amount in is the same amount that goes out so i don't know any thoughts on that definitely send some comments in the comments because i'd love to learn more about this fusion mechanic but here we have a working fusion power plant we've got the fuel we injected the fluid because yeah if you're going to use this off planet like on vulcanus or on a spaceship you're going to need to inject that fluid and then you'll be you'll be good to go now do i want to pull this power plant out kind of but i don't really need to so i think i'm gonna leave it and from now on we will pretty much be using just the the heating towers as well to heat the 
the wires, the heat pipes. All right, so actually that's, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today. We got our fusion up, we got our fusion cells being made, and we're like barreling the liquid, so that's all good. Look out for the description of the fusion reactor, uh, the blueprint of the fusion reactor and of the fuel creation in the description. If you have any questions, as always, I'm available. I answer all the comments, and you can also join the Discord where all of the jarheads combine into one giant jarhead of big brain intelligence or something. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day and bye for now. Bye for now.